So I recognize it's about that time, isn't it? It's about 10 years later, about 10 years ago, right? I was a stagehand. I was a stagehand for a group of artists in San Francisco that worked on a production. It was called Sins Invalid, and it was individuals who identified, who self-identified uh, for a variety of reasons, up to and including as a political identity, as being disabled in some manner. And they used their art to communicate their lives and their vision of the world. And at the time, I did not identify as disabled, but I had been in a situation where I had had to confront concepts of ability and disability. And I was able-bodied at the time. And they uh, offered me the opportunity to be a stagehand and to assist with the technical aspects of the production, which is something I'd done in college. I'd done light and sound as part of an organization, an extracurricular organization when I was in college for a short time. And I did production of sight, uh, light and sound for uh, plays in uh, three, actually, three plays in Chicago. So this was in San Francisco, and I was a stagehand for this group of artists. And it was very profound because the major person who in invited me to do this was somebody I respected immensely. I, I, she was somebody I had a great deal of respect for, even though I never really considered myself an artist. Uh, I was happy to be of service in that regard. And I'm watching something right now. I'm watching this Ukrainian television show about this man who's a school teacher who somehow ends up becoming president. And the date on the premiere issue is in November 2015. Now in November 2015, I was in San Francisco again. I was in San Francisco at the time I was trying to uh, get information about a water bond and concerns regarding the Public Utilities Commission in San Francisco because of something that had happened about six months earlier. See, in May of 2015, I was in Honduras. I was a teacher at a private school. And while I was there, I had been informed of and asked to participate in and let people know that I wanted to go on and participate in a human rights delegation observation of different communities in Honduras that I did not have immediate access to at that time, but that I had met years before more than 15 years before, when I'd been in Honduras for the first time in 2002. And so I spent several days traveling to other parts of Honduras and listening to those communities talk about what was going on, including a community that was engaged in organizing public school teachers and listening to these public school teachers talk about what was going on in their livelihoods and their realities, up to and including the fact that within a month of that specific human rights delegation, there was a young woman who was a student activist in the city, in Honduras, who had been assassinated. And it just so happened she had the same first name as one of my students. And it's a very uncommon first name. It had certain ethnic connotations. It was terrifying to me. But this was the truth and the reality. And after the delegation was over, I went back to school. And immediately after I got back to school, the first day I was back, they told me a few things had happened. First, it, it had been determined that they were going to take me out of being a teacher of one of the classes. There had been some concern about the manner in which I was teaching. I wasn't doing a linear curriculum because there were some needs to address the abilities of the students in dealing with the actual course material so I was not doing a linear process of educating them with the books we had. I was doing different parts and creating an unconventional curriculum in order to address the fact that there were significant disparities in terms of people's capacity to uh, participate at the specific grade level they were at. And it had been determined that that was not the approach they wanted to take as a school, that they had a more I had a different concept of what was appropriate. So they took me out of that class and gave me another thing to do during that time frame. But they also told me that that week I returned from that human rights delegation, that by that Friday, that there was a festival that they had just decided in the municipality, they were going to have a festival about recycling, about recycling and what that might mean for energy. And I had just come back 
and I was traumatized by what I had experienced, and it was a completely un... I didn't understand, but I didn't question, and I had a different model. I'm not gonna explain all the details, but what ended up happening is I spent the week with the class and in the manner I was, teaching as I did upper classmen, uh, people from fifth through eighth grade, coming up with what we were supposed to be doing as part of this group project. And one of the things they made sure to let me know at that time that I had not been apprised of at the time is that there was a tiered system for teaching the students. And my students, our school, was in the lower tier. And before that, that was not a priority to assure that we as teachers understood where we stood relative to our students and the standing in the community. We went, we did what we did. I was very proud of everything that all of the students I was working with did. But what happened was is we got to this festival, we got to this exhibition and I learned as soon as we got there, we were the only school that actually recycled materials. We actually, I got permission slips from their parents and we went around the town and we collected actual recyclable materials that had been discarded around the town. We put them in bags, we cleaned them out. We created what we created out of actual stuff we found outside that we actually recycled. Most of the other classes had devoted a particular part of their budget to purchasing new materials that could be recycled and then making an art project based out of materials they intentionally purchased in order to make art out of something that could be identified as being capable of being made out of recycled materials. They didn't actually use any materials that were recycled because they did not actually clean up the garbage. Their teachers did not show them or engage them in the process of actually cleaning up the trash. What does he say here? What's this about? Oh, there's subtitles, right? Дарья Репина, ТСН. Господин президент, скажите, планируете ли вы стимулировать экономику методом привлечения венчурных инвестиций? Спасибо. Спасибо, Дарья. А, да, знаете, динамика рынка инвестиций требует комплексного применения имеющегося инструментария для поощрения иностранных э, финансовых да все-таки любит наш народ и дешевый популизм михаил Семенович, вы молодец а я тут ни при чем перестаньте мы же все понимаем